day. How are you? Yeah, feeling much better. St Vincent's campus has an international reputation for heart surgery. This reputation has been built on our robust heart and lung transplant program, our mechanical assistance program, and the pioneering of new technologies in the management of heart disease. The cardiothoracic surgical unit has been established since the early 1960s, and we now carry out over a thousand procedures a year, consistently achieving outcomes far superior than any international guidelines. The uniqueness of our heart centre is that we cover the full spectrum of heart conditions from high blood pressure, arrhythmias and congenital heart disease right through to chronic heart failure. Our patients are able to have all of their heart care needs treated in one spot. At St Vincent's Private Hospital our patients are very fortunate to be able to have state-of-the-art care from making a diagnosis all the way through to curative treatment. For conditions such as atrial fibrillation, a very common heart rhythm, a full suite of non-invasive and invasive diagnostic treatment services are available. We are proud to continue the incredible work of the cardiac pioneers in Australia, including the monumental work of Victor Chang. In 1968, St Vincent's, Sydney, performed the first heart transplant in Australia, leading to the establishment of the first heart and lung transplant program. We carry out over 60 double lung transplantations every year on the campus. This places us in the top 5% worldwide for the number of double lung transplants we perform. St Vincent's Private Hospital undertakes surgery for heart failure. With the backup of our mechanical assisted transplant program, we can undertake many operations that other hospitals cannot offer. Patients needing complex redo surgery, ventricular remodeling surgery, and high-risk operations come to St Vincent's for assessment and the possibility of another chance at a better life. We are one of the few private hospitals in New South Wales using temporary heart and lung assistance for our patients. Our ECMO program, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, helps support desperately unwell patients during their illness and bridges them to recovery. With our advanced cardiac imaging centre, patients now have access to the latest in cardiac imaging technology, which not only affords accurate diagnosis and monitoring, but also allows for innovation to further improve outcomes for our patients. Research in areas such as 3D printing and computer simulation makes sure we always stay at the cutting edge of technology and patient care. As a department, we took a lead in utilising minimally invasive valve surgery and we've become the leading centre for trialling new devices. The first minimally invasive surgery for the mitral valve, the aortic valve and coronary artery bypass grafting was performed here in Australia at St Vincent's more than a decade ago. Since then we've developed the largest minimally invasive program in Australia. After training overseas in catheter-based valve procedures, surgeons now work together with interventional cardiologists. Together we perform procedures such as mitral and aortic valve repair and replacement, closure of paravalvular leaks, closure of the left atrial appendage, and safe removal of old pacemaker leads. St Vincent's Private is the only private hospital in Australia inserting left ventricular assist devices. Our fantastic transplant team then focuses on rehabilitating patients to better health and possibly a heart transplant. Inspired by the work of the founding members in cardiac care at St Vincent's, in the most recent times we've pioneered robotic coronary surgery. This innovation has seen the patient journey following surgery be completely overhauled due to the minimally invasive nature of this surgery. Patients do not experience as much pain and they're able to go home much quicker. We have a dedicated cardiac ward where post-surgery and post-procedure our patients are strongly supported and monitored by an experienced cardiac nursing team. On the campus we also offer a cardiac rehabilitation service to help people with heart disease return to an active and satisfying life, but most importantly to prevent recurrence of cardiac events.